Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, and welcome to Command Power, the show in which we discuss all things Magic the Gathering with a focus on Commander. And welcome to another episode of our Card Spotlight series in which I highlight a card that I think should see more play in Commander. But before that, just a quick reminder to click subscribe if you enjoy my videos. We're well on our way to a million subscribers and your support means everything to me. And today we're going to be talking about Eleanor Gardner. For three colorless and one green, it's a legendary creature, Halfling Scout 2-4 with when Eleanor Gardner enters the battlefield, create a food token. At the beginning of your end step, if you sacrificed a food this turn, you may search your library for a basic land card, put that card onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle. This is a super powerful effect in any food based deck. That is quite narrow because it does need to be exactly foods, but in those decks it's going to be incredible. What this is doing is basically giving you a free rampant growth every turn. That also means that actually paying 3 mana to sack your food just to gain 3 life suddenly becomes very good as well. Seeing as rampant growth just costs 2 mana to start off with, so you you're not overpaying for the effect even if you're sacrificing the food naturally but in a deck with this there's likely to be lots of different ways you can take advantage of your food so you probably won't even be paying that two mana a lot of the time however where I was interested in her is as a commander for mono green decks I think it's quite an interesting one honestly because if you narrow yourself down to only green you do have less food cards but it does mean that you can get this out much more consistently and if you have enough sack hours in the deck you can start ramping with it very early on that that means that you should be able to drop very big creatures very consistently which is something that I'm all about. The green decks are obviously very interested in ramping naturally and it's something that they already do very well so the advantage of playing her would just be that you'd be playing kind of a different strategy with food but also the amazing consistency of being able to ramp turn after turn after turn. When you're basically guaranteed to ramp every turn there's a lot of effects that get a lot better. Any effect that's going to work with your forest be it doubling them or counting how many forests you control is going to be much better with this so you could play stuff like Dungrove Elder which is not normally a card that would be very good in Commander but in this deck it would probably be really solid. You would want to have kind of a green stompy build but one that had a lot of cards based around forest specifically. So something like Nisa World Waker would be good to untap all of those forests you're getting. Colonian Twin Grove would be really solid because you'd be able to get two huge creatures with power and toughness equal to the forest you control. Staff of Titania seems like it would be amazing as well because you could just attack in even with Eleanor and she could be huge. It could even be a Voltron alternate win con and Nessian Game Warden is one of my favorite cards which would also be amazing in this kind of deck. You would need to remember to play a bunch of food support but there has been a lot more food support printed and the reason I'm particularly interested in this now is because the upcoming set is going to be based in Eldrain and it's a fair bet that it's going to be a lot of food support in that set too. So this is definitely one that I'm keeping my eye on towards the future because I feel like it's only going to get better and better as more and more food support is released. But yeah, I like it in the 99 of food decks and I also like it as a commander. So there you have it. Those have been my thoughts on this new spoiler. What do you think about this card? Please let me know in the comments section below. I read all comments and respond to all of them too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click like or subscribe. It really helps the channel. And until next time, take care. Woo!